Alright, welcome back. I haven't made a video in a little while, but uh, I've been kind of busy, so I figured now is time uh, that I'm due for another one. So uh, let's take a look at some generative design techniques um, using a parametric model and then uh, using some computation to, to spit out some variations for us on, um, on a kind of a machine learning platform. Uh, so first off, we're going to take a look at a parking garage um, that I've kind of modeled real quick uh, just to get some variations. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but if you needed to basically have a parameter that said I need X number of stalls and I'm worried about the floor to floor height, um, how tall I can build it, you know, the next level would be, of course, more floors, more, more variations of that. Um, one of those options of a parking garage is actually just the sloping floor two-way circulation. There's there's a multitude of ways we could do this. Um, as a matter of fact, these there's probably more than just these eight, but I kind of chose to go with this one, but uh, there's not, nothing saying that you couldn't uh, modify this to, to fit and suit um, other types of, me uh, of parking garages. So, uh, essentially, there's there, it looks like a lot, but um, it's not. So, uh, one of the, the tips right away that I want to share with everyone is uh, um, we're not able to use a divide curve by a, by a distance um, up on the computational uh, platform at this moment in time, but uh, have no fear. Uh, it's essentially just clicking on that and using a node to code uh, for, for Dynamo. Um, takes that node and basically just long hands it out so you don't have to type this and, and push it in if you do need to change a parameter. Uh, just like number of stalls, so if I wanted to say num stalls like that, we could do that. Tie it back in, and we're good to go. <coughs> so it's going to generate that and create it. So all we have to do at this point, and, and again, it's the same. It's basically the same code over and over again, copy down over and over again until um, you get to the floor and, and to, to add more floors it'd be as simple as just kind of copying this up but at some point I have to stop um, and, and just uh, check it and see where we are so it's basically as easy as send a web uh, once you do that uh, it basically goes up to uh, the original web cloud platform um, and it'll it'll just take my parameters my integer sliders obviously I've renamed them uh, but uh, it's going to give me all these different variations um, on the fly. Now that's excellent, but what we what we want to get is kind of all the variations um, therein. So what we want to see is is throwing this up onto something that's going to generate this for us. So clear these out and uh, do a quick generation. <coughs> now this one's obviously a pretty simple one, um, and I've kind of filtered it filtered it back just a little bit uh, to give us a couple more variants. But essentially. Essentially, it's uh, it needed to be refreshed there for a second, but it's going to give me a lot of the different variations. And if I needed to filter those down a little bit further, it's going to essentially model it for me, um, if you will. Um, I'll try to make these uh, these scripts available uh, for download, um, for for sharing, and and make the the scripts available for um, people other people to look at. Um, so let's take another look at, at another project. Let's look at some of the somebody seen the Zaner Finn post that I had on, on LinkedIn uh, about uh, design, design data generation. So um, playing around with kind of that Zaner um, Cloudwall um, app. Essentially I wanted to build that for Dynamo but I kind of had to long hand it out. Um, so this, there's more code here than, than really needs to be quite honestly. Um, this is pretty heavy handed but um, to get it to fully function on, on Fractal, I needed to uh, uh, take it a little bit further um, in, in some areas. And, and uh, some of this is just me exploring more than it is anything else to see really what I can do. But um, once I go back and, and kind of start to name all these integer sliders, it'll make a little bit more sense. But essentially, if I needed to modify and, and change some of the, the uh, slats to suit my design needs, you can see it update right there. Um, we can uh, get the design we want, but this this would take, you know, either a lot of time or uh, just a lot of understanding of it. Where, um, if, of course, if we uh, take this and throw it up onto the cloud platform, uh, send a web real quick and uh, open that up, and something like like Fractal, we can generate 
a lot of different variations and I can just choose which one I want uh, based on filtering. Now I've stopped it. Um, it was going to take a while to, to bust through all these and um, again I would I would totally build this in a very very different way um, than before. And let me get some some movement back on here. So you can start to see this get built out a little bit more. Um, so what it's going to do is give me all the variations in between, uh, which is which is phenomenal uh, because a lot of the time um, I don't want every single variation. I just want to select few, and then I want to be able to pick from that as the designer. Um, so very useful for for that. Um, particular uh, set. Then I got a little bit more creative and uh, almost, mo almost like a, a building generator and, and, and again kind of broke the script out a little bit. Um, uh, once again I couldn't quite use this unless I used uh, node code and, and long handed that out but essentially it's a, it's a great little way to uh, explore some design options and uh, get some square footages out um, based on how many floors there are. Um, I think I threw in a couple little rotation toggles to, to I don't know, if, if, if you import a site plan and you want to see something, or if you wanted to uh, control this view parametrically to, to something that was happening off in the distance, uh, you could. Uh, nothing to say that you couldn't change it. You know, um, Tips here, um, really custom code for that. Uh, this should be um, pretty obvious. Uh, number how many floors you have times the height of those floors uh, will give you your total height of the office space area. So this is 300 units tall. Um, add those up. You know, it's just a series of points connected al along uh, a line and then I uh, basically shove in uh, rectangles to represent the floors at that point. So we can, we can change those on the fly how big of floors we want um, for the commercial, for the for the office, if if you will, or residential would have probably been, or uh, there's a, there's a there's a number of, of things we could have done here, um, hotel, uh, hospitality, so um, constantly spitting out total square footage, square footage per floor, uh, any kind of unique instances. Uh, we we could make each one of these floors be unique. I could rotate it. Um, in more of a spiral pattern, but for right now this is just sort of laying out um, what you would need to do in order to, to make this kind of tower. So um, once again I'll make this script available uh, for, for people to play with. Um, some other design option capability uh, nodes up here too, but um, I'll, I'll save those for another day. Um, this doesn't play well uh, necessarily up on, up on the uh, machine learning fractal, um, but uh, I did build one that does, and it's actually quite a bit simpler. <coughs> Let me uh, close that up. Uh, and I don't believe this takes any special uh, packages. Obviously I have a quite a list here, but um, this is just on this computer at this office at this, on this Dynamo Studio license, but um, really it's it's the same principle um, number of floors times height of floor and if you wire it up in this way you basically get some cubes um, that are functioning as floors spitting out levels I can get a total out of this I can do um, all kinds of quantity takeoff uh, at least from a rudimentary level um, and once we push that up to uh, to fractal then we actually f you know finally have a tool um, that you know I really like which is um, kind of pick the best design. So I'm going to hit refresh real quick and we'll run through this again real, real shortly. Um, are there more parameters than this? Um, absolutely. Um, this was just kind of our, our first flight test over the lunch hour to see how far I could take this in, in you know, whatever half hour, 40 minutes. Um, they're already saved. So if I needed to run through a, a series of gamuts of, of let me zoom back out on this, of uh, different floor heights, floor area ratios, square footages, um, if I wanted more commercial, let's see, number of commercial floors, only give me a lot of commercial, so when I click on this, I'm at least going to have, at a minimum, three floors. You know, I, th I think you get the idea. I mean, there's a, there's a lot to, to choose from here, um, and uh, again, uh, spitting out all that, 
that uh, valuable information, at least from a really pu preliminary uh, level. Now, we could throw this onto something um, a little bit uh, more robust to, to do multiple buildings at a time. Um, I've seen, uh, let me take a look at, we see things like um, Speckle kind of do the same thing. Um, you could build something robust like this where, um, there it goes, uh, or you can build um, uh, different colorations to it. You're, maybe you're building an office, maybe you're building a, a college campus or a, a new business campus. Um, you can start to see all the different variations um, that this will generate for us. So as designers, we're um, selecting uh, the pre-qualifications of the design we want as opposed to wasting time modeling it in, in another program. Um, this provides us with a, a ton more data um, to pick the right option instead of just the best three you can come up with in a very short amount of time. Um, that being said, let's go back to this one more. So um, then you grab this, export it, set the settings, uh, w whatever you need to do to, to, to make this uh, uh, functional. Um, you can share this with the, the team. You can open this up for, um, should be able to share this. I can share the download it, share it with the with the team um, using the web viewer. Uh, just a fantastic uh, uh, software opportunity here. So, all right, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching.